get the shit kicking tempo together. <laughs> Roll him sweet baby's arms Roll him a sweet baby's arms Play around the shack till the milk train comes back Roll him a sweet baby's arms Where were you last Friday night When I was sitting in the jail Were you with that other man Didn't even go my bail I said roll it You know what I mean? Huh? <clears throat> So now in South Africa, there's a, there's a music there that grabs you just as strongly. It's called Kwela. And Kwela, you, you may have heard like a very gentle form of Kwela in your lifetimes. Remember that song, When the Lion Sleeps Tonight, A Wimmo, A Wimmo? Yeah? Well, that was made sort of palatable for the European palate. Uh, Kwela is a bit more rough and ready, like this. <laughs> So, so, so what I did was, I took that speed of the blue rice and and that you know the sound and feel of the quella, and I put them together and I I'll play this tune now. It's got a got a really clever title: Bluegrass Safari. <laughs> Goes like this. You see this quiet section I've got going here? It's cool, huh? Well, this was developed many, many years ago. And I assure you, even though it's only three chords, it was developed. It was when I used to play for all these clubs and pubs and venues, you know, much like I do today, but in those days, although the venue was like really crammed with people, they didn't really constitute an audience because they didn't give a shit whether I was on the stage or off the stage or whether I was playing the guitar or not playing the guitar. They were just going to do their own thing, sing their own songs, laugh and clap in inappropriate places, scream, screech arm wrestle, vomit. It's the worst bloody gig you can ever possibly imagine, you know. So I got to a point where I thought, well, I can actually get away with hardly doing anything at this gig. 
All I have to do is go into this holding pattern. Just nod my head a bit as if I'm into it. And when I started to fall asleep or get really bored, then I'd just go even quieter so that I could hone in on their conversations.